This is a, sort of a dual review. We're taking a look at knee pads here, and I've got a, two set of knee pads made by Ulta, and then this one's upgraded by Tack Arm. So uh, we'll first off talk about the knee pads in general. Um, tactical training, uh, tactical situations, having knee pads, I guess would definitely be a benefit. Um, what we're talking about here is nothing fancy. It's just the uh, you know, covering over your knee, the same as any construction trade. You know, a guy who does flooring for a living is going to want to walk around on a pair of knee pads to protect their knees. Um, you know, a military or a law enforcement guy who's going to need to uh, potentially drop to a knee in an unknown environment, you know, would also do well to have something protecting their knees. Um, here's the problem I have with them. I'm not a ninja or anything, but I do talk to a lot of guys who do martial arts, and um, one of the problems you get when you train on, with martial arts on padding is that you get so used to the padding that sometimes that becomes a part of your technique and you got to be careful to avoid that. And the reason I bring that up, um, here's the great example, um, somebody who's so used to doing some sort of a, a, a knee strike on padding that they never think about it and the first time that they actually have to use that technique in real life on a concrete environment you know, they break their knee because they're so used to being able to slam down and, uh, you know, be on that environment of a padded floor. So um, I find that that's, you've got that potential when you're training with firearms as well. Um, we do some tactical matches here in Arizona, and a lot of the guys wear knee pads every single time they shoot. Well, that's great, but, you know, if you actually need to pick up that rifle one day and use it for real, and uh, you don't have time to put on your knee pads, then have you just hurt yourself if you just you know weakened yourself so that you uh, you can't fight the way you normally would that's the debate that goes on in my mind at least and the way I deal with it is I sometimes wear knee pads and sometimes I don't I don't want my brain to think there's always a set of protection on my knees but that being said I'm a big guy I like having some protection on my knees if I've got to go to my knees quite a bit so if I'm taking a class and I know I'm going to be doing a lot of work you know from kneeling or from getting transitioning from uh, sitting to kneeling to standing or anything then I'll wear a set of knee pads um, that being said that's enough of the philosophy of knee pads I guess um, once you've decided I'm wearing a set of knee pads you have gotta decide what you're gonna wear um, for me it wasn't a difficult choice uh, I didn't buy any I didn't buy any when it came time to need some I asked around the people that I respect uh, their opinions and they all unanimously liked Altas. Alta is this company that builds these these pads and uh, great company I believe they're out of California and they've basically been building knee pads or manufacturing knee pads for the construction trades for a long time so you know construction guys uh, anybody who has to work on their knees you know putting in floors putting in carpets who knows you know they're uh, gonna be need something that's gonna last and something that's gonna be comfortable and that's what Alta provides so as far as the construction goes, very well made. Um, it's sort of a soft material back here. I've just noticed that out here in the desert we're getting some little burrs and stuff stuck in this material. But a soft material on your knee side and a polyurethane or a rubber or something, a, a, a pliable rubber here on the outside. Six very strong grommets that hold it to a strong nylon base and then all that sewn up and put together real well. These can get wet. It's a closed cell, closed cell foam inside, so they can. I've gotten them, you know, drenched with water, soaking wet, and they don't retain any water. They dry very quickly. Um, the materials are all decent, so you know, very well uh, made, so that it's not going to fall apart. Very few frays, very few, uh, actually, no torn seams or frayed edges or anything. Um, another thing that makes Altas, there's two more things that make Altas real comfortable or better in my opinion than others. One is that they use elastic on top but a piece of regular nylon at the bottom. So your knee is going to be here. This is across just the top of your knee on your thigh. So this is very comfortable. On the bottom you have this regular piece of uh, nylon and the next thing I'm going to talk about is their quick attach buckles here but it's very easy to snap that buckle off leave the comfortable elastic so that it stays in place on your knee. If you have to drop to a knee and you don't have this on, it's pretty much in place and it's going to work for you. But if you're going to be going up and down a lot by clicking this on, you've basically ensured that it's always going to be right in place for you. A lot of guys that I've noticed will, you know, between, during breaks or during re, uh, some, you know, reloading or whatever, they're going to drop their knee pads down to their shins 
and the next time they need them they have to bend over and lift their knee pads up and that's a function of having usually either elastic on both sides so it's just you know it's just very confining or having something that's just a strap which is very uncomfortable if it's just a strap on top is very uncomfortable um, so again the second or the last thing that I like about the Altas is they've got this sort of rubber or steel or metal um, uh, stud here and then this triangle shaped uh, clip that's just great. Um, so many of them are velcro or some sort of a uh, two side snap fastener which is great but they're just slow noisy and cumbersome. This triangle uh, nothing to set up nothing to aim just drop it and click and uh, again as I mentioned it's real comfortable to wear Altas all the time just quickly unsnap that one and you're good to go if you want snap it up in front again so it just sort of hangs like this and this doesn't hang loose but anyway Altas are great knee pads can't say enough about them I wish I got paid by Alta because then I'd have a bunch more pairs of them as it is I had just the one pair and then we talked to the guys over at Tack Arm and I uh, was really impressed with these and what these are is a set of Altas in this case the multicam flavor um, but you can see they start out being the same thing by the way I'm, these are one size fits all so there's not sizes that I'm aware of um, so they start with a set of Altas what they do is they clip the seam up here and instead of the closed cell foam they put in a set of uh, level 2 soft body armor and the idea of this, the tack arm is in business to help uh, arm the guys overseas right now. Imagine if you've got a threat of a roadside bomb and you're sitting in your Humvee, you know, basically a, a target for those things. Uh, you want as much armor protection as you can possibly get. So uh, the idea of having just some, you know, a couple, three layers of mouse pad or having some, you know, ballistic nylon between you and that threat, you know, definitely this is the way to go. There's not a big difference in weight. I figured I'd uh, mention that because the ballistic ones are just a little bit heavier. So for, I'm going to go ahead and put both of them on just because you almost always wear two at the same time. So for a pair of these we're talking 13.4 ounces for the standard Altas and when you add the uh, tack arm armor inserts or upgrade it's uh, one pound 5.2 ounces so you do sacrifice a little bit by adding some weight but in my opinion you know the potential uh, benefits there are uh